morning Woodlands members, Jan here. Uh, today's tip is going to be about lag and an easy way to create lag. Um, lag in the simplest form just simply means that on the downswing transition we're trying to make sure that our hands lead and that the club stays behind. Um, effectively that would create a little bit more speed for us and it becomes a much more uh, efficient golf swing altogether and you might even have the ability to let the club go more into the ground so that we hit irons crisper for instance. Um, it's raining outside presently, so I thought I'd do this drill with an umbrella today. All you're going to do is t uh, grab the umbrella like this and choke down about 30% on that umbrella, okay? This is what it's going to look like from the side. I've got a, about a foot or so hanging out, okay? And now we're going to grip that umbrella. We're going to make some back swings, and on the downswing, we're basically trying to make sure that the butt end, the rubber cap here, doesn't hit me in the rib cage. As you see, if I let the club pass my hands, that rubber end, that butt end is gonna hit me in the ribs, see? So in order to avoid that, we're gonna start making a bigger turning motion and we're gonna activate our core and our chest and do this. So we're gonna see some rotation happening. And all of a sudden, that butt end is no longer hitting us in the rib cage. And if we go really slowly, you'll see that those hands are leading and that our club is staying behind through that strike, okay? It's a great way to activate the body. I'll show you from this direction real quickly what that would look like. At first, you're going to want to uh, try to manipulate this but by just using your arms so your hands will drift out to avoid making sure that butt end hits the rib cage. We don't want to do it that way, right? Activate that core, activate your pelvis, rotate in order to help our hands and the, the club essentially miss us like so. Okay? Give this a try at home. I think it's going to help a lot.